Oh my God. Okay, y'all. Just so y'all know, um, after this, we're gonna take a quick break and then we have two more topics. Love and marriage Huntsville and Ray J. And then I'm getting out of here, girl. Okay, because I have got to go to the gym. But let's go ahead and get into what K Michelle had to say under all this filter. Want me into private because then I don't feel protected. For my last ex in private. You like it? I would like to be better about that, you know. Like I I don't want to see. I do. I think men should be able to cry and be vulnerable. Yeah. But for some reason, once they cry, you know what happens to me? I turn into the man. <laughs> when they cry, I'll be like, <laughs> I like that, like. <laughs> <laughs> if we both cry, I get it. Fast. Oh, I'm not saying that. Yeah. But I'm talking about like something much. don't go their way, like a cry. Oh, no, 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 no. But like if someone dies in your family and things like that, then you have the bad. And you know, like having a bad, like I just don't be want men to cry because then I don't feel protected. Okay. So y'all heard what she said, right? She said, if she see her man cry, with the exclusion of a family member dying, that's the only reason a nigga can cry. I would just say, I think that it is your responsibility to unwrap your mind from that and to not respond in that manner. So I'm going to tell y'all, I can remember my dad crying once, once, for real, for real. I've only seen my dad cry one time. And it was the it was Christmas at our house and my mom's dad, uh my grandfather could not breathe. And my dad performed CPR on him and they took him to the hospital, right? You would think this would have fucked up Christmas, but it didn't. <laughs> um cuz my my grandfather died after that. I was 6 years old. My grandfather was one of my favorite people, okay? Shout out to Edward Montana and the New Orleans Montanas, okay? But either way, y'all, my dad, after they took my grandfather to the hospital, my dad was sitting on the bed and he was boohoo crying. And I don't think I have ever, and I'm not boohoo crying because, you know, he couldn't be a boohoo cry. But like just, just sitting there and quietly tears just running down his face. My grandfather was really like an amazing person, like very like the energy my grandfather had. You just don't meet a lot of men with that type of energy, right? So. My dad was greatly, you know what I'm saying, like influenced by the connection, right? So when he died, which was only like a couple of years after my dad's own dad died, I think it re-traumatized him. And that was the only time I ever seen him cry. And seeing him cry that one time, that one time watching my dad cry was enough for me to know that men need to cry and that I probably wouldn't have gotten hit as much if <laughs> I wouldn't have got hit as much. If he would have figured out his emotions a little bit better. I think that y'all look at one side of it and don't look at the other side of it. I do understand what she means. Don't nobody want no crying ass person, period. Like, I don't want any adult that's going to cry simply because they didn't get their way that day. You know what I'm saying? No. But essentially, when we go through difficult times, shit just need to come out. And nobody should feel like they have to hold it in for your benefit. Um, at the end of the day, my dad cried sometimes and still would go pick up a gun and walk around the corner and threaten to shoot somebody's dog for attacking me. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like those two things don't really go together all the time. And a lot of times men that are overly emotional can be overly volatile. You can be overly protected, bitch. Okay. That's probably how you ended up with men pits, right? Being with somebody who you felt like was showing, you know, the adequate amount of angry emotion versus showing sad emotion. Not understanding that a lot of the times because of the way y'all view black men, y'all don't let black men do anything. We was talking about the nail polish. There were so many of y'all. Oh, my God. What is she talking about? A man wearing nail polish, bitch. You don't know him and you don't have the possibility of fucking him. So why are you this bothered? <laughs> Ask yourself that question. I feel like y'all have got to stop feeling like every man out here is an option for you to marry. Stop it. 
men should be able to be however they feel necessary when it comes to expressing themselves emotion wise and that may mean that that's not the nigga for you because you still in a toxic place where you can't accept a man being a human and having emotions just like you do and the fact that he doesn't feel safe to have those emotions is the reason why you probably got knocked over your fucking head and that's no disrespect but that's the connection that's the connection girl uh little uh was it little baby little baby had on some nail polish academics lost his, his goddamn mind like <laughs> even though the nail polish matched his jewelry it was like i don't even understand what's going on it's matching the diamonds w where is the confusion um because you know y'all girl if he is gay what what difference does it matter what difference does it make who gonna fuck him still gonna fuck him because he's little baby and now what like now what now what like what's gonna happen now um, so I just feel like her reasoning is toxic and at a, as a grown woman with a boy child for you to still feel that way, that shows a lack of growth on your part. And I feel like you need to go to therapy and deal with that because a man should be able to cry and you should not feel like that's a weakness. Like that's insane. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Sounds like he needs a history lesson. Yes, because most things like high heel shoes, wigs, nail polish were all things that men created for themselves at one point before y'all decided to over masculinize the image of every man. Because, oh, my God, if they're not rigidly fitting into this masculine thing, my head is going to explode. That's how y'all be on the Internet, girl. Y'all be real mad. Y'all be real mad. And then, you know, can't understand why, why every nigga you in a relationship with is talking to you crazy and putting his hands on you and all of this shit because you don't value emotional intelligence. You don't value people actually dealing with their feelings versus pushing them down until it comes out in the ass whipping on you. You know what I'm saying? And this is not really just directed towards her. That's just the truth of the situation, y'all. Um, so I do think there's something to be said for not wanting someone to be overly emotional but i think that is extremely extremely uh fucked up in 2024 to persist with a mindset that men can't cry or they should not cry i don't know if y'all know but to me crying is like fighting i don't think you really have a choice in the matter i don't i don't think you really have a choice in the matter <clears throat> right rick james wore nail polish and he was still getting all the coochie Prince was out here with a curl, okay? A whole curl with assless chaps on and was getting all of the women. These, these things that y'all put together to mean one thing or another, like to me, it just kind of showcases how ignorant a lot of people are. Um, And that's sad. That's really sad that y'all are still in this, like, you know, every nigga needs to show up as James Evans, but with money type of vibe. <laughs> like, you know, scoot back, girl. Scoot back. OK, let, 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 let these men be who they are. And that's me talking to women. OK, specifically, because it's a whole different conversation when it comes to men and the way y'all bully and threaten to kill each other. If y'all don't, you know, stay within the confines of this weird ass uh, um, performance of masculinity that y'all think is, is so important. And please don't get me wrong. I like masculinity. Like I'm, I'm even down to the women that I'm attracted to. I'm more so attracted to masculine presenting women. OK. I got a big, tall, hairy nigga, okay? Like country, like that's, that's you know, you can't get no more masculine, okay? But emotional it's intelligence, I'm sorry. That's important. I need you to be able to tap into femininity emotionally and mentally. I do, I do. I don't want to be with an old weird ass hard ass, like no, you you could have that. No, thank you. I need you to be in touch with your, your emotions on some level because the niggas that don't be in touch with their emotions, girl, they'll fuck around and kill you one day. <laughs> mad holding shit in and now you know stab 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 anyway 